What's up, what's going on, Legends? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm bringing you guys a quick mission guide for a double feature, essentially, for both Delicate Movement and No Traipsing to Trapper. Both of these are Crown Tier 3 missions. Before we dive into it, if you guys do enjoy this content anytime or find this video helpful in any way, make sure you share support for the channel by going down below and smashing that like button. So go ahead and throw an easy goal of 100 likes on today's video, as well as if you guys like to find your way back to the channel for more Call of Duty content, make sure you do hit that subscribe button alongside that notification bell so we don't miss you in future videos. So like I said, this is a double feature, and the reason is is because you can actually do both of these missions at the exact same time. Now, I don't know if this is intentional or if this specific method will be patched in the future. So if this ever changes down the line, I will cover this again in another video. But essentially, the first one is going to ask us to kill the bomb maker without triggering any traps. That's going to be delicate movement. And the second one is just asking us to kill the bomb maker within 60 seconds of entering the Suki Castle courtyard. Now, essentially, what that means is once you enter the circle that basically surrounds the weapons case, that's when the time frame for the 60 seconds will actually start counting down. And obviously, for the other part of it, you have to do it without triggering any traps. Now, a DDoS works pretty well for eliminating the traps but altogether you could avoid going into the castle and even having to deal with any of the other ai involved just by doing what we're going to do in today's video now it's important to note that you will need to save up some money as you are going to need a decent amount of munitions boxes or you're just going to have to be patient enough to stay at one of the resupplies long enough to get yourself stocked up on the drill charges now drill charges are much more important than the snapshots you're going to want to use something like eight to ten of them to just basically going to stick them on the wall the idea with the drill charges for the most part is to remove the trophy system but once you're stocked up on ammo you're stocked up on these snapshots you got plenty of drill charges you're going to want to make your way over to the suki castle now you're going to actually want to open the map you're going to want to be at the little bottom corner of the suki castle basically look at it like it's shaped like a diamond you're going to want to be at that bottom or home base area now you're going to go up towards the very top of the suki castle you can basically jump off the cliff that's off to the side there or the little mountain there you're going to jump onto what's close to the top of the roof now you're basically going to be looking for the windows that are graded closed if you're up above that and you're not seeing any of these windows you just want one level too high just go down one level and you will see these specific windows like you do see in the gameplay now, these are going to be the windows that you're going to want to be shooting through and throwing the drill charges on now this actually took me multiple attempts to achieve it as it did seem like the drill charges were just getting blocked the entire time by the trophy system but once i broke through enough of the trophy systems in my latest attempt i was actually able to pretty much eliminate the bomb maker pretty quickly but getting through those trophy systems seemed like the biggest hurdle that i had to get to in order to actually do significant damage or at least get to the spot where i could actually shoot him now you could throw snapshots on the outside and it will mark the enemies but simply just shooting through this window and moving back and forth enough will be exactly what you need to do without even using snapshots i don't even know if you need to use snapshots to actually complete this as they aren't doing much besides giving you the location of the enemies in through the wall but if you guys do get rid of the trophy systems you guys will be able to throw the drill charges there it will actually damage the enemies inside and honestly if you just continue to fire with enough ammo which is important to be stocked up on you guys will eventually just eliminate the bomb maker again i didn't do this first try i had a couple of times where it just didn't seem like i was doing enough damage or maybe i just wasn't locating him quickly but in my final attempt i was finally able to do so so it did seem like once i threw enough drill charges i broke through those trophy systems it made the situation a lot easier and then obviously if you guys have other teammates with you and they're stocked up on drill charges as well and even snapshots they can go on the other sides around the, basically this top area and you guys can pretty much work together to shoot through the windows simultaneously and you guys should be able to get through this pretty quickly now this does avoid you guys triggering any traps and it'll also be able to allow you to eliminate it within 60 seconds without even ever entering the castle but that's going to be today's quick mission guide for the double feature hopefully this helps you guys on your journey thank you guys for all the support in today's video all the support in the channel and i look forward to seeing y'all in the next one peace